Well, who we at now? Portland, Oregon has seen a dramatic rise in youth violence. We didn't know there were gangs. We didn't know anything about gangs. We were completely totally ignorant. But these guys came up here, they were wearing certain colors, they were behaving in certain ways, they had tattoos all over their body, they were throwing up hand signs. I mean, they were doing some strange stuff. It doesn't take much, it's like somebody pouring gasoline on a floor, and you just pray that nobody comes by and lights a match. Well, the gasoline had been poured throughout this community because of um, economic disparity between this community and the rest of Portland, and because of the school system that didn't work, because of discrimination and racism. That's the that's social gasoline that's been poured on the floor. Gang activity that came into town was merely the spark that set it off in a way that it became visible. In Portland, an understaffed police force is grappling with a meth-fueled crime wave. This is the epicenter of the meth epidemic. Meth abuse has outpaced heroin and cocaine here, and Oregon sees more meth addicts per capita than any other state. The majority of all homicides occur among people who knew each other. The majority of the conflicts involve drugs, money, and other personal property, as well as family and intimate issues. Bobby's helping me, so fuck off. Girl, you said fucking where? Shut up, fuck. No, you shut up, fucking Gemini. You fucking creep, shut up! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Shut up, you fucking creep, You shut up! Shut up! You know what, I'm not even gonna mention the 50 dollars that you owe me. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Uh, determination to be the greatest. Nothing will stand in his way. He had no need of a kingly title. He had the power, he had the trappings, he had everything essentially that he wanted. He didn't need a mere word in order to satisfy his vanity. <laughs> 